Good morning. I am about a couple miles away from it's a Saturday morning, uh, participating in a sweat lodge ceremony. I've been keeping my radar out for it, <coughs> and here it is. Um, I'll check in later. Good morning. I am ready to go like I was two days ago <laughs> to a sweat lodge ceremony this morning at 9 a.m. I'm about 10 minutes away and I was so excited about finding this and being in the location where it was happening and there's all kinds of little connections that I've realized since I have um, asked and uh, was welcomed into this um, ceremony this morning. We're even going to actually construct the sweat lodge. And the reason why I know that is first it was in the email, but also I showed up two days early, nine o'clock. And the uh, house was not the house of the facilitator who, for the ceremony. Uh, so, they were really nice though, showed us around the yard, Imogene loved the yard, it showed me where the sweat lodge was, and most importantly, because it is in a neighborhood, it gave me a place to park my van, because it is kind of a tight fit. So I, all in all, really grateful for that, and excited, because I'm getting ready to go. I'm not going to uh, turn the camera on. If there comes an opportunity for me to take a, a a picture or two or whatever. Well, I'm just see what happens, you know, <laughs> just see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, I went out to the coast, Lincoln City being my destination, and it found, uh, I like this part of the country because it's pretty easy if I don't have a set place that there is a lot of what I call uh, mini rest stops along the way because there's lots of long stretches of woods and forest um, that you just don't know what time of day you're going to end up there and you are allowed to stay a while and rest up. That's what I did. The news <laughs> about food <laughs> is I found a restaurant in Lincoln City that had Dungeness Crab, just a steamed Dungeness Crab on the menu. And so I went there and it ended up, I needed to get the dinner, uh, which is no problem. I got a lot of sides to go with it, which is going to last me for a couple of days. And that's how I justify the price because um, it's going to be, I'm probably going to get three or four little, not total meals out of it, but a substantial addition. And uh, anyway, the Stunges Crab was just great. The beaches were great. I found uh, a couple of boondocking spaces and places that are great. And uh, I'm really jazzed about this ceremony this morning. I'm way vibing high. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take the next few miles here to uh, go within and. Um, Well, I made it for four hours and I had to allow myself to leave. This was a morning of allowing spirit to move through me. And um, I was getting pings that I needed to dim <laughs> almost as soon as I got there. And I was like one of the first people there. And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to participate, even though I didn't really know how the ceremony is structured. Um, and adult learners, it's hard. That's why people mostly sit on the sidelines, I think, is because of what I just experienced and allowed myself just to, you know, 
let it go. So I just want to make this short and sweet, and then I'm going to let it go. If you're ever in a circle with me, first of all, I want to welcome you. And if I don't see you at first, as soon as I notice you, I'm going to come and welcome you. Which is what happened. Except for no eye contact and just a little, which again, this is how I talk myself out of me overreacting. Anyway, felt the vibe. And uh, I guess that I made one little misstep too many because I was uh, called out, uh, publicly shamed. And then as I kind of was kind of stunned and bluttered something out, no tears though, fortunately, it was sort of dismissed, like just went on to the conversation that they were having. And this was the leader of the group. <laughs> the purpose of my groups, <laughs> the purpose of my community, The purpose I want to create community is to soften the edges around this. Uh, I feel I'm pretty strong. <laughs> and yet here I am, sitting in a parking lot. <laughs> Here's what it did do, though, is that I just took it. And it didn't hit me right at once. I allowed myself to sit with it for a while. I allowed myself to stay there for a while. I allowed myself to be in the space to see if it was really in my best and highest good for me to remain um, in a group where at this point I felt no one wanted me to, wanted to make eye contact with me. So I can't be a part of a group where everybody is afraid of getting shamed <laughs> or doing it wrong. In my world, if we're trying, it's all right. <laughs> and you know what it feels to be trying and being out of control. All right, so here's the next challenge. <laughs> Am I going to share this? Hi. It's about an hour later time-wise and more north and towards the direction and towards the coast. Um, I've decided that I am going to post or include what happened today in a story because I feel that... Uh, my experience, hopefully, the stories that I tell of my experience pin you in a way that point you um, to the sincerity <laughs> that I hold for um, us to take all the tools that we have been practicing all these years and be able to practice it in a safe space. Um, and um, I've had a lot of uh, practice in this. And I think I'm ready, uh, especially with your help. It's not, it's not me doing it. 
uh, the only thing that I would say that I bring to this is that um, <laughs> I'm going to try to model allowing as much as possible uh, until you guys all come out <laughs> come out of from wherever you are <laughs> and, uh, and dance with me a little bit in this I don't know if I mentioned that this was a rest stop in this forest it is just beautiful here and there's a couple of little uh, bonsai fairy trees. <laughs> so I know I'm on the right track. Actually, well, maybe it is a track, but I like meandering path better, huh? How about you? Look. And so now that I have regained my equilibrium and uh, put everything in the perspective of what it needs to be, owning what is mine, putting the rest in the compost pile, um, and boiling down the experience for me to its essence because, uh, you know, the, the they said, I said, blow by blow experience, that's not what I'm after anyway. It's what's the essence of what just happened. And um, here is my assessment. Truth is truth. It's direct. There's no emotion of, into it other than just love. Um, yeah. This truth came to me the following way. Jump to conclusion, shame, and dismiss in very short order. And my soul said, uh, we've had enough. You don't have to tumble down this hill again. You have put so much work into having so much fun. Nope, we're not going there. It's my intention of the Cultivate Life community is that we find another way. Did I make a scene? I, I, I don't know. It seemed like I was invisible. I just, uh, once I decided, I uh, just was in the back anyway. I just took my little pile of things of, and, um, and just went out the gate, blessed, blessed the experience. I got in my car and it was up close to the house, but I just started it up and drove out the driveway. No regrets. I did the right thing. And if they contact me, I'm going to speak my truth. Um, in words that it's my intention not. Well, I'll know how to answer it with unconditional love. <laughs> 